Hello, good morning here from Guangxiangou, Malaysia. I'm Redwan, and I'm doing a further Jasper Report movie. And this time it is to show the use of a much more powerful IDMP approach, which is the OGI plugin. Now you can download this plugin. Um, first, you can go to the IDMP page under all the available plugins. I've done one here, Jasper Reports, and this is a contribution from Nico um South Africa. Um, I'm now going to upload this movie as after I've done it, and you can view this movie again. Basically, what we have here is a very ready-made plug-and-play out of the box OHI plugin. That's all you need, and the, all the GRXMLs are embedded. You can save into the local disk if you want to modify and reattach back. And I'm going to show you how that is exactly done in this very fast short movie okay so now first you have to download the plugin from here and I have it of course because I packed out a plugin and I'm gonna run my let's run my um, item here now right. and tell net into it okay you can see that I do not have the plugin here, and I'm going to install it from my file location, which you will get it after you have downloaded it. So I have got it anyway. I put on the hips uh, folder for the time being, and um, let me see if I have. Yep. So this install it bundle 167 and it's still coming up let it finish for a while i guess that's done uh, let me start this 167 okay so you can see that it started and let's see what happened over here and you see it's oh it's doing some accounting stuff anyway it should be up and let us just go to you have back in this let's get to let me refresh this then go into your item peer instance and do role ss update as usual and that's all that's to it login system right <coughs> to your hq now, one thing to remember is that um, for a header to work, you need to have an image or logo because you will automatically pull out the logo from your logo report field at the client info tab. And let me show you how that's done. <clears throat> um, get to your client. Right. So, under logo. There's nothing here, so this way you have to put your company logo, and I do have my company logo here. Let me see. Where's my company logo? Yep, here it is. Yeah, that's my logo. Save it. Ah, you need to restart it. All right, all right, all right, all right. But also, don't forget to put in your organizational information so that it comes up nicely in the header. Right? So I have a phone number there, fax number, and an email address. Save it. Let me show you what will happen if you don't do that anyway anyway I have not done the I've not done the role SS update anyway so let me do that <coughs> forgot about it I was saying I'm gonna do that at the beginning let's do that quickly for uh, garden world okay once that's done um, you can we can log out and basically we can restart 
And it's easily done. Just do it close here. And you should be getting out. And then we will restart this server. That's it. Right? It's a beautiful way of really managing your server through the OSGI plugin method. So you have full power full from the admin side, full control, better security, better community, and very good user friendliness, usability, all packed into one powerful hell of a ERP. So we are now logging back in and ready to try out the Jasper reports, customer balances statement. Let's try customer balances. Okay, you have the business reports here. Let's go for customer balances. And we're in Garden World. And in Garden World sample, you have to go back a long time because there's not much of information there. And the trick here is, of course, to use the value preferences so that you don't have to fill this in all the time and you're doing the same testing. Press on this. Let's see what we got. All right? So you see, it is plug and play. We have only about two. Okay, CW construction, $161. Let's get to that. And if you want them to be in your shortcut, just put them here. Call them out. Um, CW. Okay. And again, I want to make them repeatable their preferences set and just click OK and here you are now you see how fast it was to really deploy this with hardly anything you 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 need not really need to stop your server unless just for that restart but basically you you could do your plugin in in a hot uh, pluggable manner and everything's working out of the box and could pull your database information just like that. Now, I'm going to show you another thing here is that what if you want to modify? Then this is the big thing about open source, the freedom to modify, is that you could just go and save the GRXML already attached there. How do you get to it? Just change the role, get into your system mode, is it coming in and look for your Jasper report basically the trick is go into an advanced search under entity type because they are newly um oh, you can even go for Jasper report but I haven't tried that uh, let's go on one I'm sure which is go on the user maintain yes and you'll find that these are the report they will pack in those four reports now let's say in customers Balances, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna change something to the balances. So you go to the attachment, save it, save it somewhere, all right? Save the file. Let me think. Um, yeah, just save the file. See, what, basically, I've saved it anyway. <clears throat> I'm doing a repeat of this, but anyway. So if you have saved it, I've saved two copies of this, but earlier I was doing a test. Yes, I've saved it here. Go into your favorites, ID for um, Jasper modification, just as Jasper I reports or Jasper Soft Studio. Here recommended to me by Hip like you of Vietnam. He's here as my guest, Malaysia for a month. And then you open the file, that file that you downloaded. Okay. Calling up. And yes, that, that was the one that I, I, I've changed it to. You can change anything you want. So I, I've changed adapters. All right. You just double click on. Uh, originally, I was, thinking, I was playing around. So originally it was depth of balances, and I changed it to you owe me balances. Let's do you owe me big time. Okay. Finish it. Save it. And then let's get back to here. Trash this present one. And go to 
what you have just modified wait until yeah it's there save it change your role <coughs> get back to your clan admin and you see not much developer interference is needed you will have scalability in your ERP project because you need speed you need changes to be brought in quickly I did that under my balances I'll drag this here too <coughs> and voila you owe me big time balances there you are so please vote like I did here and in support of this project and see you soon again bye